Dude, you're the worst project manager ever. I hate this dev team. We're gonna make Foster limited time thing for Roblox later. Yeah. What's that answer? No, right? 100 trillion Robux. Yeah, no, I'm. we're not gonna release it again. Yo, what's up guys? So the dev team and I got into a voice call and had a quick Q&A session where we basically read the questions from our Discord server and answered the important questions. The first footage you guys will be watching is Biscuit's explanation of the new tower, Star Striker, and I'll be explaining a little bit after if anything is confusing. This isn't the, the actual model, because you can, as you can see in the known stream, that's the actual new model. And then there's going to be like a base or something right here at the little like place thing. So let's say I place the tower right here, right? It'll go up and it'll start hovering. Although wherever you place the base, this is not the area it's going to attack. So it'll just hover around the base to quote unquote recharge or get quote unquote repairs. All right. And once the tower is ready, I'll click on the tower and let's say, let's say I click right here, right? Yeah. The tower will fly on a path as you saw the, when no one's making, you see how it goes like in the, in the little like curvy thing, you know, I would fly along that path and it would go right here and it would start circling this area for like X amount of seconds until it'll fly back to the base and recharge again. And you'll be able to click another area next time, uh, for it to go to. So if you have like four, you could click them all to go to different areas. Let me see the platform. Why does it look so a <laughs> oh, because it's not the actual platform, you stupid sh Okay, so pretty much how the tower is going to work is, as you can see from my paint drawing, this is a tower. Uh, <laughs> I never took an art class, so uh, this let, let's just say this is a plane. So how the Star Striker plane is going to work out is uh, you can basically set it to go here. And then it's just gonna circle like around this area and then it's gonna come back and recharge um, so that you can send it elsewhere if you want it to. So this is a third lane. So if you wanted to send the plane to here so that I can circle around this area, um, after the recharge, it's able to do so. And then the next footage will be showcasing the new enemies that are gonna come soon. Let's see if this is Detroit. Detroit. Yeah, see how fast it goes, right? And then check it out. And he'll do it again after some time. Do you guys? Summon, summon another one. Oh yeah, look at Okay, so if you guys didn't get what just happened, uh, what the zombie is basically able to do, it's called Maleficent, and the zombies are actually able to slow down time. So the rate of fire for the towers, if you guys didn't notice, for the hyper shot, it went from 1.08 to 3.24. So the zombie is basically just gonna slow down the rate of fire for the towers by three, three times, which is really, really strong. And then the next zombie is called a uh, cursed slime. It, it's nothing special. It's just once it dies, it just spawns a whole bunch of different zombies um, that are pretty tanky. But uh, you guys will be seeing a lot of those in raids, which will be coming soon. I'm going to be reworking Outlaw to spawn cowboys, basically, <clears throat> and you'll get to choose the lane that uh, its uh, little spawnable troops come out of, actually. As of now, what is the hardest tower for you to make? Not in terms of the... May maybe you can answer both in terms of design and how it functions. Uh, yeah, in terms of design, it's Shock Chain, but in terms of programming, oh my gosh, Frosty was such a pain to make. You... Uh... 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 Where we'll have to agree to disagree. Oh, oh, no, I think I'm going to say now. skill issue. <laughs> known as I want to say skill issue. <laughs> it's just yeah. entirely code for Star Striker. Oh, uh, listen, hey. Star Strike hasn't been added yet. Nam, you can't be taking all the questions. All right, when, <laughs> when okay. will the Obama Tower come out? Never. I'm not adding an Obama Tower. Will there be any map that doesn't have three lanes? Raids, right? Uh, yeah, so uh, raids, yeah. raids will be in the future. Um, maybe two months, two months down the line. Okay. Um, so raids are going to come with consumables, which is why it's going to take longer. But each raid map is going to be specific to like a raid. And it's also going to have its own specific set of enemies, which um people have already come across them in 
hard mode, but you're ma mainly going to see cursed enemies in uh, raids. It's going to be up six lanes and up, and it's going to be up to 10 players, I think. Let's see TDS make that. <laughs> yeah. Here, I'll, I'll disable the path just so you can see it in real time. I am. That'd be cool.